Hey, hi, and hello. Welcome back to yet another doll review. As you see in front of you, today we will be getting into Twyla of Monster High G3. I am very excited to open this doll. She is my favorite from the new Creepover line. I have Frankie and I have Draculaura. I do not plan on getting Claudine because I just don't like the doll, to be honest. Um, and that's all the tea on that. So looking at the box, you can see it says Creepover Party. And in this bottom corner, you have artwork of the four. All three of them are in sleepwear while Twyla seems to be in her normal outfit. So she is like, I'm guessing the invader, like the boogie, she's the boogeyman's daughter. So I'm guessing she's just invading the sleepover and not actually at the sleepover, you know? She got her little bag that is her bunny Dustin like, as well as Dustin looking cute and creepy. He's a little dust bunny. She has her bunny eye mask and she comes with these accessories in the corner. The box has the Monster High logo on the side and shimmer, as well as this dark black purple color behind it. On the side, you can see some things that have to do with the characters and the sleepover line. Cute. And then in the back, you get a bigger picture of Twyla with Dustin taking a selfie, it seems, and the other girl, the Kiki, in the back. It's a cute design. You can see their room. It's Frankie, Claudine, and Dracula, Draculaura's room. You can see their posters and their picture. At the bottom, you can see like the must-haves, her midnight snack. You can take a pause and take a look at that if you want to. It comes in two or a few languages. But that's pretty much all with the box. And it says her name, Twyla. But let's get her open and unbox. If you see dolls to the corner, it's because I've done reviews recently and they have yet to leave the table. And we are back with Twyla all out of box. As always, firstly, we're gonna see what she comes with. She comes with this Antro to Talisman book, which does not open as plastic, but it is pretty cool to have displayed on the like table or like a doll table, doll house if you have one, I do. She comes with a coffee mug that has little stars on it and this like little bottle, you yeah. know? Third, she comes with the this bunny eye mask and it's of this rubber material. It's pretty flexible, so it folds on her face and probably fit her face pretty nicely. I plan on using this Twyla as a normal Twyla, so I don't plan on using this too much. She comes with this book bag that is looking like Dustin with the little buttons for eyes and the ooh, face. It does open, so you can store some things in here and it is a like plastic rubbery material. She comes with Dustin, her little side pet. He's pretty cute. People are saying he's scary, I don't see it. I think he's adorable even with the button eyes. She has an eye coffin and you can see on the screen she has it like pulled up on her home screen and you can like look at the app she has. And she can hold the phone. Her case is a little bunny, which is super cute. She comes with her creep tart, is that what it's called? Like a pop tart, but creep, creep pastry, something like that. But it's pretty cute. It's a little pop tart screaming. It looks like it has spider webs on it and the details. It's pink, strawberry flavored most likely. And lastly, she comes with this hair clip. That is a door handle. I believe it's like a reference to the original Twyla. But enough of that. Let's get into the doll, shall we? So starting with the bottom and her shoes, because it's my favorite part, Twyla has these cool purple shoes that have spider webs in them. 
and almost like these cages that you can see through. They're like these platform hills, wedges, if you will. They're pretty cute though. Like I am in love with these hills. I would wear them myself. She does have the original detailing she used to have, but instead of like the gray, it is in like this kind of pinkish color, like a very pale flesh pinkish. And her skin complexion is even more of a pale flesh color. Looking at her skirt, which this does lift up, is this cute little flare skirt with spiderweb details on it. Pink and mint color, I would say, with black base. And it appears to be a slide up and down, no Velcro. Her sweater, on the other hand, does Velcro in the back. And it is this cute purple mint color, purple and mint. And it has like these like smoke waves going pattern going through it, pink and white. And she has this cute little black ribbon on the front of it. The material of the outfit is serviceable. It's not rainbow high or shadow high, but it's serviceable. She does come with this cute belt. It looks like it's like one of those doorknob like that you knock with almost. Getting into the face, she has a pretty face up. She has this purple eyeshadow on and these cute blue eyes. She does have some detailing in her left eye. She has a little button and she has this, I, what color is her lips? Can someone tell me in the comments what color that exactly is? I can't put my finger on it. And she has these green eyebrows that are pretty thick. She almost reminds me of like a Gulia without the glasses. Am I completely off base with that? She has these spider, I think they're spiders, but they could be a different type of bug airing. But they are purple. And I like how big they are. They add so much like character and definition. Her bangs are pretty crypt in the front. They're purple and like a mintish color, like blue, green. And they're kind of like a 1950s style. Her hair, which is box hair, it does need some loving care. And the texture, I don't know what hair quality this is. I'm not the best at that. But it's like, it's not my favorite. It's almost feels thick and dry, if that like helps anyone. Like, it doesn't feel like one I can really brush through at the moment. I might have to wash it and like, then I can brush through it, but at a current state, it's not really brushable here, I would say. Let's see, I have a little rainbow high comb. Let's do the test. Uh, I guess you can brush it a little bit, but I don't wanna like brush out all the curls. So let's just give her a little love. That's how it looks a little combed out, but it is this purple and mint color. And she does have this cute little bunny little hoodie on, which I do plan to take off of her, to be honest. But that's pretty much Twyla's face and hair. Let's get this little bunny hat off of her. It is like a plastic satin material and the air is naturally like folded and bent hair, it's pretty cute. It ties in a ribbon in the back and currently it's pinned, not pinned in, but as you see, it comes on and off. But yeah, let's just slide that off of her. Doop, doop, doop. Okay, we got Twyla with her headband all off. Before I forget, she does come with a bracelet that looks like it could be an hourglass. It's purple. And she does have the same smoke detail on her arm as she does her leg. Her hands are in a pink flesh color that is opposite from her skin complexion. But yeah, I took her hair out, so I think she looks a lot better. And I, I brushed it a little bit. But yeah, let's get Twyla set up with her phone and finish this up. Okay, you guys, that is Twyla. We have her all set up and ready for class. She has her phone to go, her drink to go, her 
talisman book in her bag. I did go ahead and put the hair clip in her hair, and this is how she looks without her sleepover hat. I think she looks really good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. As always, peace and love.